Hello and welcome to the Math for Fun and in this video I'm going to show you how do you solve linear equations in one variable. Let's look at this equation. We have x plus 3 equal to 7. To solve this equation we need to find x equals to what? To find that what do we need to do? Let me tell you. Here we have to find x so we have x plus 3 so we need to get rid of the 3 which is beside x. How to remove the plus 3? we can add the additive inverse of 3, which is minus 3. So if you have beside x minus 3, so you add plus 3 because minus 3 and plus 3 equals to 0. If you have plus 3, you can add minus 3. But what do we need to do? We need to add minus 3 on the other side also because this is an equation. So to be able to keep the equal sign, so we need to keep both sides of the equation the same. So now we say plus 3 minus 3 equals to 0, so it will go then you left by x and on the right side we have 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 and that's it so now we got x equal to 4 now let's check the solution here we have x equal to 4 to check if it's correct we can replace x with 4 in the main equation you will get 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7 so 7 is equal to 7 which is correct then x equal to 4 is the solution you can try this example and solve it and add it to the comments. Let's check another example. Here we have 40 equals to 15 plus x. How do you find x? Remember, we can play a little bit with the variable and the number on the side of the equation. Like 15 plus x, we can write it as x plus 15. But take care of the signs. And you know that addition is commutative and we can play with the order. But if you have a negative sign, you have to take care of this and do it properly now we have plus so we can do it like that now we have to find x to find x we have plus 15 beside it so we need to remove it what do we do so we add minus 15 and we add minus 15 on the other side now 15 minus 15 will go you left by x equal to 40 minus 15 40 minus 15 is what is 25 and you can also play with the order so 25 equals to x which means that x is equal to 25 Let's try and check if 25 is a correct solution. So we can replace x by 25 and we can add 15 plus 25 which is 40 and 40 equals to 40 which is correct and that's it. You can also try this question 25 equals to x plus 10 find x solve it and add it to the comments and wait for the next video where I will show you how do you solve linear equation with variables on both sides and linear equations that involves multiplication and division and now i can say that we reach the end of the video if you like the video don't forget to like and share and welcome to math for fun and bye for now